Lord Jesus, this woman is just, <laughs> y'all watch it. Good day, everybody. Welcome to the channel. I am Ty Smith. Welcome to my channel, Model Renaissance Man. I thank every last one of you guys for taking time out of your day to view my content. And I really appreciate all the wishes, prayers, thoughts, the writings, the emails, all of that. I really, really do appreciate it. If you do not know what I'm talking about, make sure you pay attention to when I post things on the community. And also when I tell you guys to follow me up here and down there, it's a reason because I post things over there, too, that you might not have been able to get updated on what's been going on or what has happened this past week. Uh, again, it is posted in the YouTube community tab. All right. So uh, appreciate that. Also, make sure you hit this right here so that this video can be circulated within the YouTube algorithm. And then also so that my content that I post can consistently be recommended to you that follow me on this channel. Double check and make sure that you still are subscribed to the channel because YouTube will unsubscribe you. I'm telling you, they do. They unsubscribe me from a lot of conservative channels, ironically. Anyway, folks, again, thank you all for being here. Appreciate you taking your time out of your day to view this content. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have to talk about this. And this is somebody that's in this case that's completely just destroying herself. And this actually working out for the good. I hope it does because Stormy Daniels has flipped flopped so much, not just in the bed, but just with her words, that it's just making, it's not making any sense. And just, you know, to be fair, I've got to say it, i got to give a shout out to Bill Maher for posting what you guys are getting ready to see with something that she said where she's like deliberately saying that what happened between her and Trump was consensual. There was no Me Too movement. Yeah, you got to paint about it. But before I get my two cents on any more of this, check it out. Ex-attorney for Donald Trump, Michael Cohen, is taking the stand today in Trump's New York criminal trial. And the media is already hyping his make or break testimony. They are the details prosecutors said Trump paid to Barry in 2016, and they are now counting on Michael Cohen to complete the narrative and pin the crime on Trump. There's a lot of corroborating evidence that supports Michael Cohen's story. Mr. Trump knew there were no legal services, so that may be the shocking detail that Michael can provide. Mm, but one CNN host is breaking from the pack. Listen to this. The trials against him keep him in the spotlight infuriate his base, who sees him as a martyr, and even may serve to make him the object of some sympathy among people in general who believe that his prosecutors are politically motivated. This happens to be true, in my opinion. I doubt the New York indictment would have been brought against a defendant whose name was not Donald Trump. Joe Concha is a Fox News contributor, and he joins me now. Joe, good morning to you. Interesting moment from Fareed Zakaria, who was one of Donald Trump's biggest TV critics, saying that Donald Trump is getting a raw deal here. What does that say about this case? Well, Carly, and happy Mother's Day, by the way. I'm Thank sure you had a nice day yesterday. The boy's a little hoarse, so it sounds like you probably went clubbing afterwards with, uh, <laughs> with the husband, and that's a good thing. Uh, look, Fareed Zakaria is absolutely correct, and we need to hear more of this kind of commentary from those who say they are journalists over at that network or at MSNBC. Both exist as the resistance networks, for the most part, to Donald Trump, who you see on your screen. That there is no there there when it comes to this made for cheesy TV show trial in Lower Manhattan. Uh, Zakaria knows what anyone sane and sober has observed over the last four weeks. No crime has been defined to this point. And Michael Cohen, who has been acting like one of the sorriest figures you could possibly imagine in wearing Superman t shirts on t TikTok and selling merchandise around jailing his former boss, apparently this is the star witness for Alvin. And brag, and this will be a train wreck. Considering that Cohen is as credible as you know Michael Avenatti, and and, and this comes. Uh to the point where if they're depending on Cohen, who already has gone to jail, who has already admitted to lying uh, countless times in terms of when he's on the witness stand, uh, we're looking at either a hung jury or even an acquittal, even in Manhattan, which voted basically nine out of 10 people voted for Joe Biden over Donald Trump in 2020. So this is where we're at at this point. And when you consider Fonnie Willis, Jack Smith, those trials are probably happening after Election Day. This lawfare attempt to take out 
have Donald Trump looks to be over. And then, Carly, wow, we may have an election that's not based on trials yeah. and what we've been seeing over all these weeks, but on issues, yeah, the things people politics. care about. And that's the last thing Democrats want at this point. Right. Exactly. And yeah. So, Joe, there's also this moment from Bill Maher. He re-aired an interview that he did with Stormy Daniels in 2018 that completely undermines what she said yes, uh, last week in her testimony. She testified, of course, under oath. Listen to listen to this. So it's stormy or bust. And she's a bad witness because let me show you a little video. This is when I had Stormy on in 2018, and first I asked her why she had sex with Trump. Okay, <laughs> but you say it's not a Me Too case. It is not a Me Too case. What? I mean, I wasn't uh, assaulted. I wasn't attacked or raped or coerced or blackmailed. They tried to shove me in the Me Too box to further right. their own agenda. And first of all, I didn't want any part of that because it's not the truth, and I'm not a victim in that regard. That's not what she's saying now. That's not what she's saying now, Joe, because what she is saying, she testified that Donald Trump was bigger and blocked her way. She said, my hands were shaking so hard, mm -hmm. I just wanted to leave, and she blacked out during the alleged encounter. So now questions over whether or not she committed perjury, but the, the larger point is that there are a lot of anti-Trump members of the media who are saying, man, I wish I could stand behind this case, but I can't. Right, Carly. I mean, remember, Stormy Daniels lost a defamation suit to Donald Trump, and her testimony last week was a train wreck and a dumpster fire, to Mars point, for the prosecution. Because, look, when you say that you're basically the kid from the sixth sense and you could talk to dead people, as she did, that may come across as slightly bizarre to even an Manhattan jury. And good for Bill Maher again, because he is, he really has become the voice of reason for not only the Democratic Party, but for journalism in playing his own clips and saying, see, this is what she told me then, this is what she's saying now, and I can guarantee you on those other networks, you're not going to see what we're talking about in terms of what Maher talked about on Friday night. So, again, if it comes down to Stormy Daniels and Michael Cohen, uh, this prosecution is in serious, serious trouble. Yeah, well, Donald Trump is tied up in court, but President Biden is on the campaign trail. And there's this really interesting piece by Mark Penn, who's a pollster and former Clinton advisor. And he wrote in the New York Times that Biden is doing it all wrong. He writes, by pitching too much to the base, he is leaving behind the centrist swing voters who shift between parties from election to election, and I believe will be the key factor deciding the 2024 race. The reality is that swing voters in battleground states who are upset about immigration, inflation, what they see as extreme climate policies and weakness in foreign affairs are likely to put Mr. Trump back in office if they are not blunted. So the latest example also, Joe, is President Biden's Israel policy. And Mark Penn is saying, don't worry about the base. Appeal to the Nikki Haley voter. You know, Carly, I've gotten to know Mark Penn uh, a bit over the years, uh, going back to my days at, at the Hill uh, when he would host these breakfasts uh, for politicians and, and for some fairly important people in Washington and explain to them exactly what America's thinking on major issues. And he's one of the brightest minds, one of the smartest minds uh, in, in this business. So we really should pay attention to him because uh, he helped Bill Clinton win elections back in the 90s. And what he's saying today is absolutely correct. The, the Biden approach has been to tell voters that the economy is actually great and you, you're not really feeling what you're feeling when it comes to every time you go to a food store to buy food or every time you go to the gas station to buy gas or when yeah. you're paying your rents or when you look at mortgage rates. So in the end, the Biden administration very much should pay attention to this opinion piece because in every swing state, Joe Biden is trailing on average to Donald Trump. He is trailing nationally, and Trump seems to have all the momentum while Biden appears right. to be fading as he is mentally. So that's where we're at at this point. Mark Penn is absolutely correct. Workshop the message that the economy is great because people are not feeling it. Joe, thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day. The defense rests, Your Honor. Case closed. I mean, come on. What more do you want? Nobody's buying this bull crap. But then again, there is some of y'all that will buy the bull crap. Some of y'all bought the bull crap about the face diapers you weren't in that you think that you couldn't get sick from the entrance of a grocery store into the first 10 feet of the grocery store. And you felt that you couldn't get sick within the first three feet of going into a restaurant before you sat down and took the diaper off your face. Uh, anyway, yeah, y'all type of folks. Y'all probably could be easily deceived by this nonsense. But guys. 
I'm sorry. A, 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 an adult star? An adult star. I was shaking. I was scared. <laughs> She, an adult film star, was shaking and scared. You've been around, who know, countless amount of dingling kings, and you're scared of Trump. I mean, he must have just been like, watch this. <laughs> he must have came out like a horse or an elephant or something. She's shaking and scared. Uh, let me stop. Ty, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Seriously. We're supposed to believe that a, an adult film star who is used to having sex, unprotected sex, with strangers, but she all of a sudden is scared and nervous with Trump. Some of y'all, please don't try to come out and defend this. Ty, but you never know. Come on. This is what this woman did all of her life. This is nothing. This is like no different than you waking up and brushing your teeth and taking a shower and combing your hair and putting your makeup on. This was nothing new for this woman. I'm sorry, y'all. You're not going to be able to get me to believe this. You just will not get me to believe this at all. This doesn't look good. I got people who are on the Democratic side who are like, ooh, yeah, nah, come on, y'all. Let's look at this with an unbiased lens. Come on now. That testimony of hers should just be completely thrown out. It makes absolutely no sense. Too much video, too much. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, stop. We're at a point right now where people are just trying to make themselves relevant, period. They, they are. They just are. Stormy, stop. It's over. It's a wrap. Just stop it. You look ridiculous right now and desperate. Anyway, guys. Y'all, what do y'all think? Y'all agree with me on this? I mean, do y'all really think she was nervous that she getting ready to try to do something with Trump? And let's keep it real. I guess, you know, you could say, well, Trump's a man. He's a celebrity. He's used to having sex with a bunch of women, whatever like that. But what a poor choice. Jesus Christ. I mean, guys, I'm just being real. Her or any adult film star. What? All the men and ran through these women. You think... Uh, huh? To each his own, but Trump, ugh, gross. Let me know what y'all think by putting the comments below after this video. Don't forget, hit this right here before y'all get out of here. This is going to be interesting. I'm really going to... Would you, Okay, some of you guys out there, I know I got a lot of strange people that follow my channel. Not in a bad way, but I'm just saying. Would y'all with Stormy Daniels? Do heck yeah, if I got a chance to do, why would you want to fall in that big of a hole? <laughs> let me stop y'all anyway. Uh, don't forget to get into your cell phones and let somebody know about this channel I encourage them to subscribe to the channel I really appreciate it and again thanks for the thoughts and prayers and letters and all that good stuff like that I am Ty Smith Model Renaissance Man hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing and most of all I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually God bless you all through Jesus